everyone and welcome back to Art a la Carte and in this video I'm going to be doing the three marker challenge with my Copics. Last year I did the three marker challenge but I didn't have Copics so I used my Spectrum Noir markers and everyone's been asking me to do an updated version of the three marker challenge using my Copics. So let's get started. Even though there are no set rules to the three marker challenge aside from picking three markers that you can't see, you know, blindfolded. Um, I will let you know that I went ahead and pre-sketched up a drawing in pencil. I did it really lightly so that doesn't affect my Copics, but it's this cute little owl here. And the reason being is because that was one of the comments that I got on my last three marker challenge is that people said, oh, you need to draw the, the drawing first before you uh, color it in. So I went ahead and did that first. Here are my Copics. I usually have them organized in color groups, um, but they have gotten all mixed up and I was going to organize them and I thought, well, let's just wait until after the three marker challenge because there's no point in organizing them when I'm just going to go ahead and draw them out anyway. So I really have no clue. You know, I don't have them memorized as far as they, where they are on this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my painting towel, which has tape on it, and I'm going to put the painting towel over top of the markers so that I can't tell. And I'm going to spin the box around several times. I don't even know which way is on what side. And we'll just count to five and I'll stop. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I do not remember which side is which. So even if I did think, oh, there's that color on this side, I don't remember anymore. And then I'm going to go ahead and place my hand underneath so I can't see and I'm going to draw three markers. So marker number one is, oh, where are you? Okay. So marker number one is E40, which is a brick white, which I think is a really light shade. Oh, okay. And next one is, is my V9, which is violet, which is a rather dark one, I believe. And the last marker for the three marker challenge is going to be, be a good one, an R81. So these are my three markers. Let me see my chart here. Okay, so this is a sketch I did earlier that I have abandoned. I don't know why, I just wasn't feeling it. So let's just test out these colors over here. So this is a, just a medium pink. That is a very light kind of tan. <laughs> oh, very dark purple. So not exactly the colors I was hoping for. I was hoping for some like more browns. I was really hope, thinking I was doing good when I got that, but I think they'll go well together. All right, and let's get started. Thank you. 
there we go. I think that I was able to pull out this color a little bit more. Kind of has, again, an antique-y feel. The last one I did kind of had an antique feel to it as well. And I think what really saved me is that fun technique of taking the brush and kind of swiping it along the color to blend those two colors on the brush instead of on the paper. And I don't think it did too much damage to my Copics. There is one little dark spot and that's just because I haven't been able to rub on on I just washed it too high up on the bristles and so it was kind of hard to swatch off of there but I'll just take an, a clean piece of paper and kind of go over top of it with that and I think it'll come off just fine because I mean I was doing dark colors on this one and it's pretty clean so I don't think it I don't think it really hurt because it's the same amount of color that I pick up when I take a lighter color and wash it over the dark anyway so that was kind of fun technique to kind of blend that purple into like um, a medium purple from that pink and that so I like that I think that really added some depth to the picture and all of that so yeah I think this was a success but what do you guys think let me know in the comment section below what you think about this well thank you guys so much for hanging out with me if you're brand new to my channel make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss it on any future videos and as always god bless you guys and we'll see you later Bye bye